So one of the first fish that I wanted to talk to you about the theming for your tank. Just... Don't be giving out my oh, secret. What was that? I forgot it's a secret. Okay, so the first fish is a blue ring angel fish or the annularis angel. Fish. Beautiful. Well, you know I got three angels living in my house already. You do. Mm -hmm. So this is adding one. There more. you go. Look at him just chill out. Dude, beautiful. Look at this nice size. All right, Eric, so what's next for me? You're not going to have a blue Christmas. OK. You're going to have a blue jaw trigger. Nice. Blue right? jaw trigger. I like triggers. That's a nice blue jaw. He hooked you up. Nice. It's a great trigger to add to any aquarium that's going to have a lot of fish in it. I know your aquarium is going to be of good size. Blue jaw trigger for you. It's, I think it was a great choice. I really nice. I like that fish. Another fish for you, Wade, that I picked out is a golden rabbit fish. A rabbit fish? Rabbit fish. That's a good one. It's a schooling fish. I know you like fish that are swimming schools. Hard working in the sense that it does a lot of algae cleanup, a lot of grazing on the algae, so it'll keep the tank clean. I'm going to call them bugs. Perfect for the tank. Beautiful. Back to you, Brett. Last in the, but not least. Let's go. Hook me up, brother. Things. What do we got? He got you a clown trigger yes. for your tank. That's what I'm talking right? about. There he is right there, my yeah, favorite there fish. there he is. Oh, dude. I know. Oh, look at the colors. You know, that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite fish. That fish is a little bit aggressive. You know, it's a little territorial. I think it just draws your eye to that fish. Clown trigger is one of the nicest triggers any aquarist could ask for. I like it. You better get back to work. I still got at least some work to do on my tank, so. We only okay. talked about a few fish today. There's going to be a lot more fish to come. We have an angel. Oh, an my angel favorites. is perfect because the owner requested an angel. So we have one of the pygmy angels. Aww. This is a multicolored angel. That is so pretty. Yeah. Look at all the colors. Yeah, those colors are vibrant. Are they going to change? Uh, no, this is uh, actually the adult coloration. They're going to get a little bit more vibrant than this, but the max size of this fish is now more than three, three and a half inches. So. It's still going to be one of the smaller angels. Is it a hardy fish? It is. They live for a long time. It's very easy to take care of them. I love looking at it because it totally reminds me of California. You got the blue water and the yellow sunset. Yeah. All right. We did good for their tank. One of my favorite fish, blue face angel. Oh. The blue face angel definitely dazzles. It's colorful. It's active. Fun, outgoing, right? As adults are really colorful. It's a showpiece. You want a fish that looks like keys, black and white, Heniocus. Oh, that's perfect. That yeah. is going to look so yeah. good. It'll be like the keys are just fluttering. I love that. Right? OK. Easy perfect. to keep active. They'll be out in the open. And they eat well. Oh, they eat like, like crazy. OK. Music to my ears. What do you have next? Falculite butterfly. Another really easy to keep butterfly. Yes, I like butterflies. And it's got the black and white coloring as well. And they're really peaceful, aren't they? They are. And, but they need a lot of corals and like hiding spaces. As long as there's a nice insert with a lot of crevices where they can swim in and out of, they adapt really easily. And I have one more to show you. OK. So the other end. OK, I got a really pretty bicolor angel. Look at that. That's literally like on point two color. colors, right? It's super vibrant. Yes, the, the blue is so amazing. Like, that's going to attract a lot of people. Will the colors change over time, no. or do they stay distinct They're like that? They're pretty much the same, yeah. What will they eat? They'll eat anything. They'll eat flakes, they'll eat plankton, they'll eat just about anything. Oh, OK. Where does the bicolor angel come from? Those guys are found throughout the South Pacific. They're readily available. I think we have great fish for the piano tank. We'll let you know as soon as we're ready, so you can bag them up and ship them to New York. Sounds good. Got All lots right. of color. Thanks, Thanks Izzy. Izzy. This fish is going to look really good. It's a green bird oh, wrasse. Look at the nose on that thing. I love this fish. I actually have one in my home tank. Oh, OK, yeah. And it's awesome because it's always swimming. Very fast fish. They go and find food in between the coral branches. Little crabs and molasses, invertebrates and stuff like that, they just use that very uh, needle-like mouth to take it out. That's why it looks like a hummingbird almost. It does look like a hummingbird, and it moves so swiftly. Yes. Hence the name green bird. <laughs> this is one fish that's going to be all around your tank, and you're always going to see it. And the coloring on that is beautiful. All the males have that bright metallic green color, and if it's a female, it's, it's got a brown. brown. Then they grow to a pretty nice size, about a foot long. What else do you have for us? 
We have a high spin and snapper. A hyphen snapper. So they have a hyphen and a low fin. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, they, they do. They are a little bit of a shy fish. So once introduced in the tank, they're going to try to hide, uh, especially when they're juveniles. But they're not a very aggressive fish, but they are a little bit bothered by other fish nipping at their fins. So you see the bronzing that it has? Yes, which matches perfectly with the Jennings tank. Uh, this is still a juvenile fish. It's going to grow up till about 24 inches. Can they go in in a group? I mean, I would say just one by itself because oh, really? they get along with every other fish, but another snapper might give it a territorial issue. This fish is going to be perfect for the fireplace tank. Uh, this is a really nice looking angel fish, <gasps> Anilaris angel. Wow, that guy is beautiful. Yeah, they're also known as the blue ring angel fish because if you look closely right above the gill plate, you have a blue ring. Oh yeah, you see it right there, Heather? Yeah. That's awesome. I love the color. When you come to the tank, it's gonna be the first fish to greet you. So he likes to make friends. Right, absolutely, absolutely. Very suitable for Jennings tank. Yes. Yeah, they're gonna fall in love with that one. It's time to go pick out fish for Kurt and Ashley Bush's tank. Hi, Victor. Hey, Victor, what are you doing? doing? A really nice fish. We don't see him too often. He's called a lantern bass. A lantern bass? Yes. He likes to swim on the bottom. He's actually a really good fish to start off with because uh, he's resistant to disease. Oh, that sounds so, good. So he's hardy? Yes, he's very hardy. Okay, okay so, and you said they like to be on the bottom of the yes, sand? Yes, that's what you guys don't want jumpers. Right. So yeah. he's going to hang out at the bottom. He likes rocks and sand. Well, who doesn't like a sandy bass? <laughs> <laughs> Right here, we have wow. the indigo hamlet. That fish is so beautiful. Well, he doesn't look as good as he normally will look, OK? He's a little stressed. I just got him into the tank. Once he feels comfortable, he's going to be really bright blue. He'll be a lot prettier than he is now. Well, I think he looks beautiful now, so I can't wait to see him well, yes, in, then you'll you know, be in really all his happy. glory. <laughs> yes, OK? And I like the, the white stripes. So Victor, where can we find these? Um, actually, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Gulf of Mexico. Oh, wow. They're a very special fish. They actually have a male and female organ. Oh, so they're hermaphroditic. Yes. Wow. He'll get along with anything in the tank. What is that one right there? Oh, my God. That's a jewel damsel. That fish is amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. He's very aggressive, though. Yes. Really? Yes. Well, most, most damsels are aggressive, but they're also super hardy. Victor, the spots on that fish are beautiful. Do those change over time? Yes, they will actually turn to a brown or yellow uh, over time. Um, and the spots stay the same? Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get a little smaller. Oh, That's okay. about it. And what do these guys eat? They will eat flake food mainly, but they will eat some shrimp. Well, I think they're going to be a perfect addition to their tank. Now, here's a beautiful ray of sunshine. Oh, wow. A queen angel. That'd be great for Allie. It brightens up someone's day just looking at that fish. Yeah, it's like just a beautiful sunshine just swimming through the tank. That's a pretty large angel right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. This one isn't even full grown. These guys can get up to about 14 inches, almost double that size. They get huge. They've got the crown on the head like a queen. You've got the little blue jewels all inside of the crown there on the top of the head. You just gave her a raise. She went from ambassador to a queen. Nice. Yeah. a Valentini puffer. They puff up big and round, just like a balloon when they're afraid. It reminds me kind of a hot air balloon. This is a sharp nose puffer, which is in the family Canthogaster. Canthogaster? Yes, and they're a much smaller puffer, typically with that pointy face, where the Arathon puffers are the big dog face puffers, or Hystrix, which are those spiny puffers. They suck in water to puff up? They suck in the water, fill themselves up, and then the other fish is like, whoa, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Nah, never mind. <laughs> I love he it. swims away happy and free. That's perfect. What else? Let's go find some others. This guy oh, is wow. called the Red Margin Fairy Rass. When you're hot air ballooning, there's a line called the red line that the pilot uses to let out the hot air if he wants to raise or lower the air that. balloon. 
And so that's what it reminded me of. Plus the middle of the fish really has that beautiful kind of sunset look with the yellow and orange. It does look like a sunset. With the bread on its fin, the way it's going like that, it kind of looks like the fire that goes up. Yeah, yeah. doesn't it? Let's get these up, up, and away to Flint, Michigan.